In this video, we're going to introduce three of the fundamental definitions of trigonometry, the sine, cosine, and tangent. And we are going to do so in terms of right triangles. Right triangles have the property that if their angles are the same, the ratios of their sides are the same. To see what I mean by that, let's draw two right triangles that both have an angle of 60 degrees. I haven't written it down, but note that because the angles of a triangle have to add up to 180, if they've got the right angle in common and they've got the 60 degrees in common, this third angle has to be the same as well. In fact, it's 30 degrees. So all of the angles in this triangle in these two triangles are the same. And we can look at this side x and this side y. That, let's give these subscripts. Let's call this x sub 1 and y sub 1. And we can look at these two sides. Let's call them x sub 2 and y sub 2. And clearly from the picture, x sub 1 is bigger than x sub 2. y sub 1 is bigger than y sub 2. But the ratios between these sides are all the same. In fact, that's Let's bring the hypotenuse in on the action, z sub 1 and z sub 2. So this side divided by this side, x1 divided by y1 equals this side divided by this side, x2 divided by y2. And the hypotenuse divided by this side opposite the hypotenuse is equal to this hypotenuse divided by this side. Um, there are six equalities you can write because there are six ways to divide a side of a triangle by another side of a triangle, and all of them hold. So like I said, six ways to divide one side of a triangle by another side of the triangle. This divided by this this divided by this, this divided by this, this divided by this, this divided by this, this divided by that. And those are six ways to divide one side of a triangle by another are going to lead us to six functions called the trigonometric functions. And in this video, this section, we'll introduce three of them. So we've got a right triangle, and then we've got some angle other than the right angle. Let me pick this angle here. And traditionally, angles are written with uh, lowercase Rome, um, Greek letters. So that's call this angle alpha. And now we're going to name the sides of this triangle. This side is going to be called the opposite side because it's opposite this angle. This side 
slightly more cryptically is going to be said to be adjacent to the angle. I don't know any reason other than tradition that you'd call this side adjacent rather than the hypotenuse, but the hypotenuse doesn't get called adjacent. The hypotenuse gets called the hypotenuse. Let's try that spelling again. And we've said that the ratios of these sides are constant, as long as the angles are the same. So if we have another triangle, a different size triangle, but it's a right triangle and these angles alpha are the same, then this opposite side over this adjacent side is going to equal this opposite side over this adjacent side. And we're going to give some of these ratios names. And we'll start with the sign. Now, these ratios depend on this angle. So we're going to think of the sign as a function of this angle alpha. And we'll write, we abbreviate the trig functions with three letters. So S-I-N for sine. The sine of alpha is the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. And then we're going to introduce the cosine, abbreviated cos. The cosine of this angle is the ratio of the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And finally, the tangent. And the tangent of alpha is going to be the opposite side over the adjacent side. And again, the important thing to realize is that these ratios only depend on the angle. They don't depend on the side of the triangle. I mean, what? They don't, they don't depend on the size of the triangle, is what I was trying to say there. So this triangle, this triangle, different sizes, but this alpha is the same. So if we go over to this triangle, the sine of alpha is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. These ratios only depend on the angle, not the size of the triangle. And, and this all has to be committed to memory. This is a fundamental part of trigonometry. Students often remember these as Sokotoa, 
sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, tangent is opposite over adjacent. This is how I was taught it, oh, those many years ago in a Pennsylvania classroom. It's the same sort of Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. But whatever memory aid you prefer, you need to get this down and you need to get it down soon. We're going to work with the sine, cosine, and tangent for the rest of the course.